Hello, it's Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. Today is November 3rd, it's voting day, it's election day, blah blah blah. However, I was helping a client out with their move, and they went from an office here in downtown Reno to an office in South Reno. And they went from an old building to a new building. And their old building, just basic networking, the network move was fine. However, after they got moved in, they realized that the new building was not set up for plain old telephone service. You know, two pair, twisted pair red and green telephone wires and jacks. They were expecting voice over IP phones, VoIP phones that goes through your network. However, they actually had some Polycom phones that I'm familiar with. It uh, doesn't matter, VoIP phones or VoIP phones. You just need to know the reset password in order to reset them and then program them to their new carrier. And their new carrier is Ring Central. I pointed them at Ring Central. I'm not a reseller. I'm just I've had hundreds of phone lines with Ring Central down in Scottsdale back in 2013 when I was doing some work down there in a call center. And uh, I was the guy who figured it out and then just reprogrammed phones all the time. So let me show you this. This is a Polycom, okay? Polycom phone. This is a VDX, uh, I think 520. Yeah, it says it on the back. Anyhow, this phone here, um, we don't know the password, okay? We tried it, blah, 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 didn't work. However, there's a way to reset it. There's instructions online that tell you how to do it, but they're not very efficient, okay? They're sort of ass backwards. Beep, bleep that out. So anyhow, let me show you the correct way to do it. So the default password is 456, okay? So I did 456, say okay. Oh, it worked. <laughs> um, that's because I reset it already. So um, let me show you exit, and I'm gonna do setup, okay? The default password for, is 456 once you reset it, but uh, the previous two videos, my B-roll here, um, I couldn't get it reset, and I did reset it successfully, and so now I'm doing the video over again, so forgive the stupidity, but eh, whatever. This uh, video is not for intended for children, this is for professionals and people who are in the office that don't hire professionals that need to do this on their own or figure it out on their own. So I want to show you how to do it out on your own because I hate to be bothered with something so simple, yet the uh, vendors give great instructions online, yet they don't bold the important stuff, they just make everything the same text, they don't highlight or point. So here, I'll just unplug this real quick, unplug the power. Okay, so, Polycom. Plug the power in, and you'll notice there's two ports on the back, don't confuse them. One has a bunch of computers, one has a bunch of non-computers. One's for the Ethernet jack to the wall, one's for the Ethernet jack to the computer. Mind you, these phones, this is starting to boot up, I'm going to press the cancel button when it comes up. These phones are only 100 megabit, so click cancel. As soon as you click cancel, it's going to say welcome. Hold down the 1, 3, and 5 until it gives you enter password to reset settings. Okay. I hope you can see that. Um, I'm going to show you that. That's what it looks like. Okay. Um, I'm going to reboot that again so you can see it without me talking. And I'll get it right here so you can see it. Okay. Okay. Hope you can see this. It's booting up. I don't have anything plugged in. I just have the phone with power. Cancel. It says, welcome. Hold down 135 all at once. 135. Then it says, enter the password to reset the settings. Now, mind you, when you get these phones, the, the settings, uh, the password is the media access control number here on the back, OK? Um, it's a long digit. It's hexadecimal. And the way you do it is you have this one alphanumeric numeric mode change right here. So I know the uh, MAC address. I've done it a number of times just to have it memorized. So I'm going to do this real quick, and I'll show you what to do. This is how you really do it. Now I have to do an F. So I'm going to switch modes here, OK? And it goes alpha. So an F is one, two, three on the three button and then I'm gonna go back to numeric you gotta make sure you get back to numeric all the way otherwise that's where I screwed up before and the rest of it's numeric so I don't have a problem with that okay now that I've got the password typed in completely I'm gonna press OK resetting config configuration reset that's what you want then at this point all you're gonna do is 
boot this back up, plug some Ethernet cables back into it, and then follow the instructions from uh, your provisioner, your provider. But that's it. Um, nothing hard. Just remember the media access control codes on the back. It's got a barcode as well. Um, don't typically share that out. Uh, it doesn't really matter anyhow. Um, network security should take care of most of your exposure of that kind of stuff. But um, other than that though, um, that's how you do it. And once this comes back up, uh, you'll go to your, uh, in this case, Ring Central Admin Console, and you will type in this media access control code, the hexadecimal number, and with, it does, this doesn't even have to be plugged in to do it, you're just going to find the, the person, in this case, this is going to be, I think, for Renee, and uh, uh, we did Darren, we did um, Danielle um, already. But in this case, we're just going to uh, type in this number associated with her phone number that's assigned. We don't have their phone numbers transferred yet. They're not being, they're being ported. People call them transferred, but they're ported. Um, and once that's done, you have to follow the, their instructions on Ring Central uh, when you click through the sign non Ring Central phone, other existing, you brought your own device. And uh, that's it. That's all you got to do. And uh, then after all that is said and done, then they're going to go ahead and once your numbers are ported, they'll reassign the phone numbers to these, this equipment that's already been set up and configured in your portal. Okay, you don't have to really do anything. They'll usually do it for you because it sort of, they have to swap out the existing configuration just to get the number assigned to your MAC address. And that's it. It's pretty cool. Pretty straightforward. I wanted to do a video on this because to me it was, I, I saw like three or four videos and they sucked. So, anyhow, this is Andy from Mountain Computers. Like, subscribe, and share, and we will talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC tune-up guy. I'm going to show you the rest of this VX phone setup. This is a VX uh, VVX520 or 720 or what is it? I can't remember what it is. Uh, VVX201. <laughs> 201. I'm way off. So, anyhow, um, the previous part of the video, I showed you how to reset this thing. So when it boots up, you click cancel, you hold down the, the 1, 5, and 3 button all at the same time. You put in the MAC address from the back of the phone, and then you press OK. It resets itself, blah, blah, blah. Then you plug it into the network, and you plug it into the PC. Um, and I got my PC over here. I got my PC over here. Logged into Ring Central. I'm in the devices and phones under phone system, devices and phones. And I went ahead and clicked on the person this is for. This is for Renee. Um, I'm just going to assign uh, the phone. And you have to click on Assign Phones. And then you say Other Devices. And then you say um, Polycom. And then find out VVX, you know, 201. I think 201. Yeah, 201. And uh, then you find their menu, their instructions. Uh, you put the MAC address in also without the colons like you normally see. It's like two digit text colons, you don't put the colons in. Then you say access menu, DHCP settings, set server type, set server address, save, configure, and reboot. And everything that's there in that configuration for that user with this phone, this will reboot like three or four times downloading the application, downloading the configuration, and then finally it'll show their username as you've typed it in on this phone and it's ready to go. And the, like I said, the phone numbers that are being ported will be attached to these phones per se. I don't even know how they're doing that. I don't think in their old office they have that many phones. But let me show you this real quick. And um, so here we are. I'm going to bring this up so you can see it. Okay. So there's no secrets. Let's see if you can see this. Okay. I hope so. Okay. So first thing to do is go to the access menu. So press the home button. Uh, I'm just going to do this. We'll see what happens. And then I'm going to go right a bunch of times to the settings. Once I get to settings, we can see this. I hope so. Settings. Uh, once I click on settings, I click on settings. Oh, okay. So I press the center button. It's not this button. That's the home button. Down arrow to advanced. You press the center button on this dial. Okay. Advanced. Uh, password. 456. Enter. Uh, right button. Network config. Right button. Uh, provisioning server. Right button. Uh, keep on going. DHCP. Uh, this boot server has to be set to um, edit, up arrow to static, and then um, back, server, down arrow to server type, edit, 
It's got to be HTTPS. Okay. And then down there again, this is where I screwed up the last time, server address. This is where you edit this thing and you have to put in the ppp.ringcentral.com forward slash pp. So I'm going to go p, p, and wait, p, p, and then the dot is asterisk, pp, p dot, and then ring central, one, two, three, four, and then you can just keep going here, one, two, if it's a different one, you can just keep on moving across, um, ring. Um, central, ring central, T, troll, and, and then dot um, ppp dot ring central dot com. Three. This isn't that hard. You just have to give it a chance. Forward slash is the pound sign. Okay. And then PP. And that's it. So say OK. PP.ringcentral.com forward slash PP. Say OK. Now you have to arrow down again and it has a password, username, password. So say edit and then just press the back. That's it. Cancel. Edit. Oh, that double back. If you're in the main menu, you just press the left arrow. If you're on the original setup from the boot, if not, um, you have to use the double back arrow. Say OK. The password is blank as well. So that being said, leave that alone. That lone ring central HTTPS DHCP. And that's it. Say back and back and save config and let it reboot a couple times. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Now, this is going to reboot a bunch of times. Okay. It's all plugged in. Uh, one goes to the PC, one goes to the network, okay? So, let it reboot. So, anyhow, I'm going to set this down, walk away from it, don't touch it. So, again, this is Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. Just wanted to show you that real quick. Hope that turns out, and have a great day. And Come back and check us out later, okay? Bye-bye.